What's up, guys and girls? Back at it again. It's B Rob. It's your boy Nate. Back at it again. Back at it like a crack addict. I'm just and Charles. You got a guess? <laughs> just Charles. Hopefully, it's uh, reoccurring. Just of Charles. Course. Always. So, uh, Charles, what you been doing? Literally like, nothing but making music and playing video games. I said Charles like, uh, you ain't my friend and shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> so, Charles, uh, how's the, how's Playing the games? Going? Yes, man. I've been playing, playing games. games. To be honest with you, I just bought Resident Evil 3. So, as soon as I go home, that's the first thing I'm doing. I do need to play a scary game. Yo. I need to switch up my genres. Bro, I, I mean, how, like... I only like the Resident Evil game where it's two players. Oh, you would mean like five and six and that, probably four. That was man. popping. That was something. really good. Yeah. But it was kind of racist. Dope. They said that it was like a low-key racist. Oh, yeah, it was. Because you're in Africa. Killing all these African black people. Yeah, people. I didn't hear about that. Yeah, bro, you just killing nothing but Africans the whole game. The only white person you killing that game is Wesker. Yeah. Literally. Wesker. That's crazy. Yeah. I, got, I don't remember that. That is true as fuck. Legit. But I, mean, I didn't know how the game so I didn't really right. think... I didn't think about it, but then like it reoccurred. Until I saw, I, I think I saw an Asia review yeah. or somebody reviewed it. And I'm like, yo, why like, is it these two white people is going around Africa is killing these motherfuckers? Facts. Like, and you do realize, like, even though Africa is Africa and it is the motherland, many white people live in Africa. Yeah, and many. Other, yeah. yeah. So like, you ever, not you ever see a, a white South, South African person? They yeah. actually do sound African, but they're just white. Yeah. yeah. No. It's, it's weird, but it's it's out there. It's people like that. I mean, I guess the stereotype is that white people don't live in Africa. I guess. Or just skinny people that don't have homes. There's literally like, 1.3 billion Africans. I think I saw this one movie where it was like the like the white people had their own like section in, in Africa. <laughs> it, segregated it, was, it was living luxurious. <laughs> yeah, I forgot what show that was on. Well, shit. Damn. That's the craziest way to start off. Start this off, but yeah, yeah. topic of the day, <laughs> yeah. topic for right now is how doing? everybody handling the quarantine. Yeah. Man, just um, stand in the house. Yeah, man. As much as I really games. can. The only th time I really go out is this one special occasion. To be honest with you, I think you guys are the only first place like I've actually been inside and hung out with people in this entire time. Right. You're the only place yeah. I've ever been in the past two months. Other than here, special. I'm yeah. just saying, like besides stuff. getting yeah food and yeah, stuff. That's about it. It's been here, mm -hmm. um, in my cousin's house. That's it. Yeah, I've been having really no reason to go anywhere because everything's like near bad friends, family, and everything. I'm mainly staying in the house, produce, make music, and keep to myself. So you nothing really changed. I was right like this before. I was like this before the quarantine. You live nah. right there at the grocery store too. Like it's yeah. right there, right there. So you ain't gotta go nowhere. <laughs> Sorry. So, I not mean to put you out there like not that. Not even. I don't know where you are. Hey, you know? nobody knows where I'm. Nobody yeah, knows. No. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I was like, oh, I didn't mean to blow up a spot like that. But, but yeah, quarantine is going pretty good. Everybody's happy or healthy right now. All my friends, I don't know anybody who's actually sick with a virus or like. I don't know nobody either. You, close by. You was mentioning you yeah, did. I know. Um, I got. Some, that's unfortunate. Yeah, yeah, I know. I got uh, one of my friends. He's got his mom and dad that have it. Um, they got it, and then there was this girl that I knew back home that her um, mom passed away from it after having it for 17 days. Damn. Yeah. That, stuff out there. So that like hit, that hit real close yeah. to, to home. Yeah, real, oh, real close. It's like, seeing, it's, it's different like when you hear about the deaths and stuff, because you're like, oh yeah, like, and it's kind of weird how many people have died from it, and you just be like, I don't know, nobody connected to it. Yeah. It just looked like numbers to you, you know what I mean? It kind of like, gave you a sense of, like, is it really happening like right, that? Right, or this just fake or staged or whatever until you see yeah. somebody's, you know, family or know somebody. Right. And, you know, and then all you got to look at is, like, Facebook posts of the funeral and pictures and how they're feeling about it and the fact that their parent is gone. You know what I mean? It's really morbid and jacked up. Right. And it's, it's everywhere because... I kind of like stop looking at the news and stuff because mm -hmm. it's it's like too it much. gets in your brain. It's yeah, too it's, it's much. too much. It's too depressing. And I'd be like, ah oh, man. And even though I don't want to feel inconsiderate mm -hmm. because I know that there's people die. Yeah. But at the same time, I don't really want to think about it. I don't like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's I do notice that I like I don't like to single our people out, but black people really don't take certain things serious until it happens to them. That's true. Yeah. And, I, it, it, I, like, like I said, I don't know anybody personally who had it, 
But I do. I've been hearing hearing that friends that who know people actually had it and yeah. down from it. So it is a very serious thing. Sure. I want everybody to be safe out there. Yeah. Wash your hygiene. Wash your hands all the time. <laughs> wear a yeah. mask and be safe out there because this this is a very serious situation. Yeah. We're not we're not out the woods yet. Um, businesses are starting to reopen and up, up and up and everything, and slowly. But it's going to be a, a long road for, for a while. So everybody be safe. One thing I do want to say is though. Y'all ain't listening. Nobody is listening. Nobody <laughs> at all. Is this, the city of Pittsburgh is not listening whatsoever. And, and there's like right. memes like everybody else and then Pittsburgh driving all crazy. Facts, so. bro. There should it's not true. be this many people outside. And yes, like I'm technically outside. Like I'm at a friend's house and like I did drive here. But at the same time, it's like on a Wednesday when most of us don't have work, right? And, and we go in places that are extra, we don't need to be going. Like, I mean, even me, I'm guilty of coming here, but at least I, like, didn't get out of my car. I had one set purpose. And like, we, you know what I'm saying? I came here, straight here. We're taking, like, slim chances and stuff because we know yeah. all we've been doing is staying, staying home or going over people's houses that like, aren't affected. Yeah. And um, and it's been less than, for real, real mine's been less than five people. Yeah. Like, we got three people here. Yeah. Um... I get I get like texts from like my older family members and stuff and like yo I hope you're safe I'm I'm staying home, um, and I hope you're not going out there being crazy and stuff like that. Have y'all got those messages? Um yes, yeah. my both of my grandparents. Everybody's bought me masks or tried to buy me masks and stuff, which I'm very appreciative of. Thank you. Yeah. Um but yeah, so my grandma bought me a pack of masks. My other one asked if I and it's hard one. to get masks. It like, was like the world mask. Yeah, it was. And I mean, I still haven't ran out of toilet paper yet. I'm nearing the end. I I'm still don't. We end. talked about but this we still last don't, time. I haven't seen toilet like, paper at stores yet. Right. That's scaring me. Why are I people? Paper. I bought like the last pack. It was like a uh, toilet pack of toilet paper. I yeah. bought that. Lady, remember, lady pulled up, walked up, and said, "Is that the last one?" I was like, "Yep." And then walked off with a smile <laughs> on my face. <laughs> it's like, damn, yeah, yeah, lady, it's serious. I feel like I feel like people are hoarding toilet paper. Like it's it's not that. I mean, it's serious. Don't get yeah. me wrong, but it's not. You should have like a decent a decency a to. Like, not overtake yeah and i feel like people are just grabbing in bulk yeah that's why they made that rule like yeah. one with the water they were like, like two that. waters per customer yeah. or, and, and stuff like that because people are being greedy yeah did, did you hear about the guy who actually is hoarding around like hand sanitizer yeah i think he tried to resell like, it yeah no no, no for high hand bro little bottles like this right now <laughs> he pulled out his pocket go for ten dollars <laughs> This is ten dollars. That's, that's my mom crazy. gave me this because she like had like five in her cabinet. Let me get some of that this right is, now. Wow, like, for please. what reason, man? Yeah, for what reason? No, hey, it's, 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 it's scarce. It's scarce around here. Yeah. Some, this is my look. I need this for the next yeah, like, month and a half, bro. You got <laughs> clean water and soap right now. You got some water. You got clean water at the crib, man. Um, related to this topic is there's there's supposed to be a bill. That's supposed to be passed on to the government. It's supposed to be sending people to your house Are you serious? to give give individual tests to everybody before you go really? back to work. And Where'd you hear about that? Where'd you hear that's that? That's actually it's all on. Um, a, they've been talking about it for a while now. Oh, they're actually about to. I don't want nobody just coming in my house. My mom sent me a text message earlier today saying that um, there's a petition. People trying to sign a petition to stop it because they don't want nobody to just come to your house and just start giving everybody a test. Yeah. Like you don't know what they're really testing in or what's going on. I don't, know, I don't, I don't know, know if that's true either, because right? of population and where you live and you know, quote unquote, like different diseases that yeah. we have that other people don't get, vice versa. It's connected to the consensus yeah. that everybody had to do too. Like yeah. we put sign up, so everybody know who, how many people's in your household, who's all there. Oh, man, so now it's they really. I think that's. The I didn't do that too. I still didn't do that. Yeah, if you don't, it's a. Better, like it's a fine. You're gonna get fined, or like you. No, they didn't. They didn't say I was fine. They didn't say I had to do it. Yeah, they didn't somebody in the household has to do it. For real? Yes, one person. As a man, just one. Yeah, just one person. Nobody else, but just one person does have to take care of that. I don't know. I don't. I still don't know if I want to do it. You might have to. I mean, it might be too late now, but. No, they're they're still sending me like uh, stuff like, um, but it's 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 not mandatory though. But um, back to uh, what you were saying, I don't, I don't know if that's true because when they were showing on the news that people were uh, driving up to uh, to get tested if they wanted to, yeah, they were just 
they were doing drive by. They were handing them something to uh to get tested, and they would do the test themselves. I think they, but they're trying to make it mandatory now because the virus isn't. There's no cure in sight. They're still doing testing and everything, but it's like, still like, like the other thing is we can have it. Yeah, but like, not, not know. Yeah, but we're, we're st- our music our music systems are strong. Did have any y'all? Was y'all like really sick earlier this year? No, I, I was sick. like real sick around December. I had bronchitis and stuff like that. Oh no, I didn't. No, the, the last time I've been, there's been two times last year that I was sick. And the one time came from food poisoning, which is a whole nother type of sickness. Like, right. you know what I mean? That was from me eating like bad garden pasta and you know, whatever. And the other time, uh, my uncle got married, I think right after Christmas was the wedding. It was either right before or right after. It was like a day <laughs> or two. It was like around that time, right? And um, I was the best man at his wedding. So I was holding his first child, uh, my goddaughter, Izzy, and she had the flu. So just from holding her, I ended up getting the flu, but I only had it for one night. One night. Well, was it, you say his daughter? Yeah, his daughter. Young, she had the flu. Yeah, she was young. two, though. So, no, she was one at the time, but now she's two. But she was cool. It was in December. Mm. Like, that's, I mean, the flu is a bad, bad sickness to get at a young age. Yeah. You never had the flu. You get chills. I never had the flu yeah. before. I've had it twice. This is a side note from what you said. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, obviously, you've been in a wedding. But have you been in a wedding? Yeah. Couple. I've, I've been, been in... Three. I think two weddings. I don't like being in them, but I mean they're they're cool to go to. I we're gonna have a hotel, the Rents Hall's hotel and everywhere. I used to just set up for events and weddings and stuff like that. So I was present at weddings, but actually be invited to one, they maybe like two, three. I never been in a wedding as an adult. It sucks. I mean it's just I mean, okay, look, I'll I'll say this, right? Like it was cool being my uncle's best man, but you would think that he would be so much more chill. He acted like a bridezilla the entire time. Every, like bro, I was setting up like the chairs and the tables. No, I don't like the way this is. It's got to be rearranged. I don't like this design. How about you help us? This is your wedding. Like you know what I mean? Right. Like I understand like it is your wedding and we're supposed to be like helping you, but don't act like like we're your work slaves. It's like, normally the woman who's the professional. She was chill, bro. Yeah, she totally was the, the one out moving the tables with us. The oh. woman was moving tables. His wife. Mm. Like we got a <laughs> minivan and move these tables from like some other facility for her. Right. And she drove the caravan to get up. And he's sitting over here going to the mall buying suspenders to take off. <laughs> yes. Bro, and the, he done he, I mean, he got to clip on his, like the suspenders. He had me do it. I accidentally snapped him in his face because it came back. But that's man, that's man. one thing I feel that's every man should know how is to um tie a tie. Do y'all know how to tie a tie? I definitely you. do. I do. But he does not, my uncle. I um during this quarantine I had to remind myself because I knew, but I forgot, and I just watched some videos, and I was like practicing. Yeah, I know how to do the and shit. Back or not? I don't know what it's called. There's one where the tie looks like too tight. The knot looks too tight. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Then there's one where it looks like perfect. It's like yeah, a, a I, perfect. I the perfect um, one. Yeah. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Too. I mean, yeah. You just go over, over, up, and through. Yeah, yeah. And after I know that, I know. you just fit it to your neck. It ain't got to be snug on it. It just got to look like. Yeah. It's there. Yeah. There's some very creative ways to tie a tie. Uh, actually, there's a couple that I want to learn to do. It's all like all on Pinterest and shit. Yeah. I've been on Pinterest a lot. Get yeah, inspiration, yeah. like ideas of how to dress and stuff like that. Very, very, very good for any 3D artists out there. Any artist in general, like, is a good artist. All right, to another topic. It's, it's, it's pretty unrelated to we was talking about less, but it's Oops. something we want to talk about. So that's sorry. Somewhat important to us and like some people out there. Oh. <laughs> have you ever tried to get wait damn oh fuck it have you ever tried to get with a friend and their friend oh my god a friend and their friend like both yeah like no like like it didn't happen at the same time but no. you, you just started I, maybe I pursued one and then they said no and then I was like hey since you don't like me does your friend like me maybe something along the lines yeah. of that but even then no not really I don't think I could do something like that because it's like the awkwardness is like mutual. Yeah. It's like you got yeah. shut down by one friend now. You try to go yeah. for the other friend, and, then it's like, and oh, they gonna talk amongst each other. Like she, won't, that girl would be like, "Oh, <laughs> now nah, he he couldn't get with me, yeah. so he's trying to get with you." Yeah, so he I'm just like, thirsty out here. He he so just wants somebody. He so y'all just gonna talk shit on me? <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, oh, that's that's how you do people. You be trying I, to get with you and the the girl and the friend. I think it happened twice. Did you actually accomplish it though? No. Oh. <laughs> 
Yeah. For y'all future yeah. reference, don't do it. Um, I mean, for one yeah. instant, I'm gonna say, okay, so I was talking to this girl. Something fell out. We fell out. Uh, like a year later, we became best friends. Dang. But I, I still had a crush on her. Like it's 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 like an old love. Yeah. Um, but I ended up during that one year that we fell out. I ended up talking to her friend, mm -hmm. and they're like hanging out like like us and shit. They're that like that close. Yeah. They're even more closer because they're girls. <laughs> also, I mean, like, yeah. So um, limits. So I'm talking to her, and I don't feel like it was my fault because she ended up, like, it was like a long distance type stuff because I lived here, yeah. and I was like over where we're talking about. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so wow. I think she cheated. Oh, man. So I was talking to uh, uh, her her best friend, like the old love, yeah, and we kind of re sparked the shit. So now it's like I got a question. Two shit. Um, I got a question. What? So what led you to believe that she? You thought that she was cheating, or was it like your own, like insecure way, or own um, your own way to try to talk to somebody else, just in general? Like, do you think your mind tricked you into thinking that so you could talk to somebody else? I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you why I don't think it was that. Okay. Um, because how can I explain this? You know how you look. So I would go there, yeah. and all her friends would be talking and stuff, and I would hear like, "Oh yeah, I'm t I'm talking to her," or they'll be like, "Yo, I'm texting blah 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 right now." Her name came up. They didn't know I was talking to her still, <laughs> so her name came up. But then I'm a I'm a re, you no, know, I'm a fast forward a little bit. Yeah. She ended up fucking my cousin. <laughs> So, yeah, see after that, bro. So, I'm sorry, you so, were just not in that category of liking. I was like, tripping yeah, on her. You, I'm gonna yeah, like, start calling you sister or something like yeah. that out of nowhere because, like, it's, you have no shot. Yeah. If you're having sex with my and I'm like, or friends. My, my cousin you came no to her. This, this one we, uh, sorry. this is when we wasn't going together though. My cousin came to me. and was like, yeah, bro, I fuck so and so. And did I'm he like, know that how much that meant to you though? No, she didn't mean that much. Her friend meant that much. Oh man. That was that was like my best man. best friend. Okay. Okay. And the uh, like the spark. Mm. Mm -hmm. So my cousin was like, oh yo, I fuck so and so. I didn't I didn't really care like that, but at the same time I'm like a little salty. I what I was thinking was true. She was like cheating and shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I never I never like got like clarity on it, mm -hmm. but I think I think she was cheating. Mm -hmm. Like if you turn around and fuck my cousin and she knows it's my cousin, like she know. yeah, come on now. <laughs> I've never been in no situation like that because it'd be like too much drama, too mm -hmm. much. I've never been in no love triangle situation that it's like yeah, I try to avoid those situations. <laughs> I feel like I've definitely been, I've been in some, but I don't think I've been in. Some. It's a whole <laughs> like. That was my, that was actually my last, like, heartbreak, breaking shit. Did, like, trans, trans, what is it, transpired? Mm. Transpired? Mm. <laughs> Transpired. Trans 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 yeah. Word of the day, transpired. That's the trans title of the video. Use some big words, dog. Transpired. <laughs> Transpiration, y'all. Transpiration. But yeah, yeah that. It is, I hope that's a word. Transpiration, that sounds like a really... Like trans, a trans, transpiration sounds like a word for transpired, like a, a ball version of it. What did I say? Transparent? Transparent. <laughs> transparency. <laughs> probably that was the title probably transparency. Good. Maybe transparency. Is that something different? Transpiring. This inspired. This made me realize... Transparency is just being see-through. Yeah, transparency is being see-through. Transpired. I almost, I almost deleted like, this whole shit. I don't know. I mean, we can right now, right. I can't think about it because it's too late in the day. By the way, for y'all that don't know, it's like 9 o'clock p.m. Just giving you a date. Like, just imagine, you know, it's a day. It's 9 o'clock. Kind of sleepy. Right. But yeah, be, it's evening, you know. Oh, yeah. Be careful out there, y'all. Y'all want to just destroy your whole friend circle because y'all trying to, like, fuck everything moving. It's like that. Just at least make one target for like, one girl. Yeah. It don't work out. Just move on. Don't even try to, like, unless... There's some spiteful people out there. You might, I'm gonna fuck with your friend. Yo, how, do you, you shut me down? how do you feel about people just sleeping with other Ooh. people's like person? 
Like, bro, if, that's what I was thinking of. Yeah, I was, like, like, I hate check this out. I do that, and I hate guys that do that too. Y'all are slimy. I ain't, I ain't dropping names, but I was <clears throat> I was talking to this one chick. Mm-hmm. Bro, I got snake. <laughs> like, oh, man. It was a party. I ended up getting too drunk, pass out. But before that, I invited her to the party. Um, get drunk, too drunk, pass out, wake up. Somebody's making out with the girl you invited. Yeah, bro. I don't know Somebody how I feel about that. First of all, you passed out, so like your head is already hurting from probably drinking. On top of just finding that when you wake up, I'd be sorry. I mean, bro, so I was so salty. He said very close. I didn't think it was that. Was that me? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> you did that to no, him? No, no, no. Nobody ever did that to yeah, him. No, like, was, what? This was back in high school, yo. Oh, okay. So, I'm about to play. that's that's what I'm, I'm saying. Play. How do you feel about somebody, uh, like your boy, snaking you for a uh, for a girl that's like close to you and know that you're fucking I with I feel like them. we couldn't be homies because it's like you violated. Like, the thing is, now, unless you have an op like a very good reason of uh, doing it. Even if you knew that she didn't like me and she did like you, if I told you that and you didn't tell me beforehand that that was something that you were trying to pursue, don't try to pursue it after you heard that I told you that I wanted to pursue it. Like, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, if I call dibs on somebody and, I mean, yeah, you can't call dibs on people, I know. <laughs> like, but the thing no, is, like, if I'm trying to, I have to be clear because people not are objects. trying to come at you. Yeah, <laughs> nobody's an object, but if you see a girl out of a group of girls and you're like, hey, I think this one suits me the best and like your friend tries to push like honestly i've had that happen so oh yeah um, wasn't yeah. it i think it was um hmm. b remember i was about to say no names <laughs> b. We say, hey, <laughs> oh b b b b b b b <laughs> him him but not it's not like only me. him he is one of those people though he does go for the most attractive one of the group and he'll the just one that you say I want it, and you know oh, yeah, he knows you want it. Yeah, yeah. He'll, he'll try to alienate people. You know, I'm cool. um, but yeah, so he he'll try to alienate people. But like even him, like I was saying my bad. For me personally, like even if I were to hang out with somebody like that, I'm not even looking at no girls like period at all. And now he's also like kind of a selfish person. He would. Um, I feel like that's a selfish act. No, but he would invite like seven girls for him, and then he'd be like, "Oh yeah, by the way, that's my friend Charles." Anyway, look at me, like. Uh, like, oh, see, I can't like be around that. somebody like that. Yeah, no, but what I'm saying is like the type of guys that if I've been talking to this girl, putting in work for like a couple of weeks with her, hanging out with her, doing these extracurricular activities, and my friend comes in and swoops in and I have work one night and he doesn't have work and neither does she and he invites her to go to a movie. Like, I'm like, bro, like you're not a real friend if you're yeah. doing that. Like there's thousands of other women, hundreds, billions of other women that you could do this with and you're doing this with my love interest because what? You're not about to tell her that I like her. You're about to try to smack yourself or you're just, like trying to do stuff for you. You're not trying to help me or benefit me in any way, shape or form. Right. Like what if I felt strongly like this could be like a, a really great relationship yeah. or a connection and you're messing that up because I don't even know, like, why do guys do that? Why do friends of dudes do that? It's more like, like I don't think just like being territorial and being like, I'm better. Guys, like, guys, guys what's the dudes? That's the best word, territorial. Some guys, guys like, it's like they're in competition. Bro, they got to they show that they're like the. We we can't be friends. I can't show which it's, you try to take my girl. It, it's like a personality trait. Like, all right, so it's like, I mean, huh, it's it's difficult to. To like talk about. That's why we here to talk about it. But, like, <laughs> it I mean, out. it's difficult to put in words. How how like cause, cause that shit just makes me mad. Like right. there's mad girls on this earth, but you gonna snake your boy? I have, like, I grew up around people like that who actually just try too hard to. There's a lot of girls like, that. like they they invite some girls to the house or whatever, and then they all try to. I think it's like a. A mating thing. They motherfuckers try to be like the most alpha male the person in the group and be like, yo, I, I, I hate I, that too. Dudes who try too hard. I hate being around people who try hard. There like, be, bro, there be bad cool. dudes that, that like try to show them or like put put people down. And that's not that's not a good that's definitely not a trait. Yeah, that's around. not a good trait to be around. Yeah. I, I had to like cut a people. couple people off. Like yeah, that. I don't like people who put people down. We only keep up lifters and inspirers in this this friend circle. Real shit. Yeah, I'm not with that. As, as far as the uh, I many... I call people out on that, too, sometimes. Mm-hmm. I don't see it too much happen. 
Sometimes you gotta call people out, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, I don't understand people who think like, oh, well, I gotta put you down in order to be like the cool friend in the group or somebody else or something like that. Like, if you can't find your own pocket to be like the person or whatever in that like little lane, then you don't deserve to even be there. Like, find your own pocket. Don't steal somebody else's like light or make them feel less. Right? You know what I mean? There's many times like that where, say, we're in a friend group and we go out. Yeah. And there's a whole bunch of group girls. And we decide to go over and talk to them. Or there's a girl group. And we decide to go over and talk to them. Um, if if nobody like sparks your interest and, uh, and and it's mutual, or mm-hmm. say say if alright, so I go and talk to a girl and I'm over here talking for a minute, kinda like secluded, like away from the group, but in a group, and one of my homies come over and like interrupt it and be like, oh, I'm here. I'm here. Don't forget about me. It's like that. I think I had moments like that when I got too fucked up. <laughs> you had that a couple moments like that. I was talking to a group of girls. I'm like, all right, you might need a wing. Now. I wasn't talking about yeah, you. Yeah, but it, it wasn't. It wasn't like I'm about to take these girls from him. It wasn't like, intentional. I think my boy need backup, so I go over there and. But people will do it intentional. Oh yeah, that's facts. Like, yeah. Um, what segues to? I wrote. I'm not meant to stay here. What I what I meant by that you got is, right that one. I still kind of get we was good with that. I've been here so long. I've been in Pittsburgh so long. A lot of people have a one track mind, or they're comfortable with just being in the same spot. And um, I met this dude. Uh, I met this dude at a hookah bar, and I forgot that I knew him. And I went there one day. All of us went there one day, but we was drinking and we happened to sit next to him. And he was like, bro, you don't remember me? I was like, nah. But then we started talking and I'm like, oh, I do. What happened to you? And he was like, I moved to, uh, I moved to Miami. Like, I got I got tired of being complacent mm-hmm. with Pittsburgh. All, all Pittsburgh is the same. We do, we do the same shit. We go to Southside. Yep. Go home. Yeah. And I was like, bro, I feel that. Like, yeah. A lot of a lot of people will have you stuck here if you're in the wrong group. Yeah, it's very true. Now I will say this though, Southside is fun, and Southside is fun with the right people. And there yeah. are a lot of great true. memories that I have from Southside because Southside has a whole bunch of things. And to be honest with you, if you're in the right group, Southside is always popping, always. Like it's never a dull moment in Southside if you have the right friend group. If you have the same guys. Who are looking for women every week and not just trying to chill and let things happen naturally you're gonna think that you're wasting your time because it's like why are you up you know what i'm saying right. if you're trying to hunt for one why are you doing this why are you like i mean it's cool like you know when you're young young and you try to go out with a mission nine times out of ten only one of y'all or two of y'all at best are coming out with a good mission not everybody's <laughs> coming out with a mission Dude, yeah but i've never had a mission from south side personally i I had a mission from the South Side, but um, what you were saying was not everybody's com- coming out with a mission. Mm-hmm. Not everybody's cool with that. Yeah. Like, dudes be really <coughs> mad. Oh, bro. Did you came out with a mission? And Sometimes. Fuck up your mission. Sometimes. No, look, look. I, I, will never, I will never mess up a mission. <laughs> I will never mess up a mission. However, I have been salty. And the reason why is because... I feel like if we are all on this quote unquote mission, support your homies. Mm-hmm. You nice. can't, bro, look, if a girl is feeling you okay, that's cool. You can take that mission. But there's two other guys who are lonely in the corner. Don't just go off with the girl. Like, yes, you can go off with her, but be like, hey, you have some friends. If you don't have any friends, you know, then you can be like, look, man, I tried. Okay? At that point, a, I'll accept. A dude should be but like, if there's like five women and they came all together. And two of y'all are saying, what's up, hola, mommy, and stuff like that. And y'all see me hola, mommy. left out. <laughs> Introduce <laughs> your home. Like, come if on it's, now. If it's a group. Yeah, if it's five oh. girls, somebody got to say if, something. What if it's just one? No. If it's just one, then it's okay. If she ain't got no friends, then it's fine. Like like I said, sorry. At that moment, that's okay. But and if, they, if they, I see a group and they people, leave, is it okay? Um, they have to tell you first. You gotta at least be like, hey, if they man. if they tell you, oh then yeah, like then I'm leaving too. I'm just gonna go home. Some, I was only here for this. Some dudes be like, like if you're in a big group, yeah, and it's not just it's not just you, but one of them meet a girl and be like, yo, all right, I'm out. It's cool. 
Bro, I, I feel like cool. it is too. Like, but yeah, it's just like dudes need man people, salty. Don't yo, try to, psh, man. don't try to hold you back. <laughs> yo, I'll tell you, I'll, I'll give you one story, and this is the craziest thing I think I've ever done because it, it shows how much confidence. Like it's crazy because people say like they can see how much confidence I have sometimes in myself, mm-hmm. uh, which is weird because it's almost like I can never hide it. You know what I mean? But it's kind of like. I have moments where I'm super confident. I'm just super out there and I'm outgoing. Then I have moments where I'm just like shy and I'm not talking to nobody. I don't know why I'm here. I don't think I fit in. Yeah, it's because like, at the point bro. you get comfortable with yourself. Like, yeah. You be trying not to bro. be something you're not. Yeah. You be like, I'm comfortable where I, where I am. And the females feel that bad. Bro. They know when they get out in the corner, it's like, oh, yeah. he seemed pretty cool. He don't yeah. seem like he's trying too hard to be something he's not. And they come up to you. Like, you'll definitely, they, they, women are very perceptive. I think. To I think a lot of girls appreciate that. Like you're not, you're just, you're just over there doing your thing, right? I I do that a lot. Like as far as uh, clubs, I told you earlier. Like I don't like clubs. It's it's too much people. So I'll go in there and find like a spot that I can sit. I'm not I'm not like the dancing type. Um, I go to clubs with you. Yeah. You'll you'll like dance, go dance, and I'll be like over there chilling at the uh, like bar scene and shit. And, but it, it works for me because girls will come, it's a good start vibe. talking. Yeah. Like, like, that's different too when you're not trying. But like like I said, like I, I, okay, the one point that I was trying to make, there was one time where our friend M, you yeah. know, he, um, he came out with me and there was this other guy named Jay. And we went to Sahara Hookah back when I really liked Hookah. Like, I, I still like it now, but it's just like the head rush sometimes is a little too much for me. Yeah. But, um, so I've calmed down, and Sahara was like the only place I felt comfortable because they had the best chairs, the best seats. Yeah, <laughs> the music yeah, was their definitely was fun, fun, yeah. bro. And, and it was like cool. Like, you could bring your own cards. It was never overpopulated or crowded. It was always just the right amount of people. And if you did want to be social with other groups, people weren't really uptight about it. You could just yeah. sit with girls or sit with guys, whoever. I met, I met a lot of people, right? Yeah, there. you know what I'm saying? And it was dope. So I used to go to Sahara. So we went to Sahara, and there was this one Puerto Rican girl with blue eyes. Now, they were obviously contacts. You know what I'm saying? She was beautiful. Like, the Do best you like of friends. Contacts? Um, or women? Mm-hmm. No, or just in like, general? It depends. It looks no, no, scary, no. low key. Well, it depends what type of color contacts they are. And then I would say, on top of that, like, I mean, wearing them as a contact user, they suck. They do. Oh. For me. Like, they definitely did suck. But that's because I have astigmatism. So, mine were, like, football-shaped contacts, kind of, in a way. Like, imagine, like, a, <laughs> yeah, if you're looking at it from, like, sideways. Exactly. Like, you know, like, it's supposed to look like a half circle. Yeah. It looked like a little boob. It kind of looked like a boob. It was, like, a <laughs> bottom. It looked like a yeah, boob. Fact, it looked like a boob. Yeah. But, like, it's like if I, like, move my eyes a certain way, it felt weird. Um, they get dry if it's more than 15 hours in your eye. People stay up more than 15 hours a day, like... You know what I mean? If you wake up at 7 a.m. and you don't go to bed until 11 or 12, your eyes are mad dry. It's going to make you so mad. I don't really judge people who wear contacts. Yeah. This is that you really didn't know it was right for you. Don't just be... People who wear it, like girls who wear it and don't look like random, like like black girls who wear like blue contacts. I'm yeah. like, uh, maybe... Yeah, please don't look like Michael Jackson after like... Yeah, you can tell. Like, it'd be like dark, it just be like dark, maybe blue trying. contact. Yeah, yeah, like you're... You're trying. You're yeah. reaching like, yeah. way too far. Yeah, that's facts. yeah but, like you yeah. just don't appreciate your natural eye color or something. Yeah. Like, um, but I mean, I understand like trying to be like exotic and be different and out there and be noticeable and yeah. seen, which is what that Puerto Rican girl was trying to do. But like I was trying to say, um, she had two other friends with her, and her friends were cute, but they weren't as cute as her. You could kind of see that she was kind of using them for her her looks. Yo, so girls, be be, girls be doing that. Yeah. She had um, people lesser than you know how her, like, girls be like, oh, yeah. pretty gang. Yeah, like nah, y'all be y'all be using yeah. girls. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely use people to be. We ain't trying to be sexist up here. We just saying like how this it is. is. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry if it's coming off wrong, but yeah. So like the thing was, space is a space. This yeah. is what the bet was, and honestly, I didn't realize what the bet was until it was too late. We were playing blackjack. They said if I lost five times in a row. Or not five times, bro. Five times in general, I had to go over there and speak to him. If you think about blackjack, bro, how many times do you really win? Never. I'm I don't know. I'm not yeah. So, yeah. And like, I was just like, oh, and they're like, oh, Charles, it's five times. Inevitably, like, I had to go over there and you know do whatever. And I was like, okay. So like, they were leaving just to go get Domino's real quick, and they kept calling me out my name. They kept saying I was a bitch. Like, you know, what the I'm girls. Saying? No. And and I hate that. Okay, no, no, no. I'll edit it out. M and J. Yo, put the dolphin noise from Spongebob. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, please do. <laughs> nah, 
M and J was calling me all these types of names, like, oh, you scared? It's because you pussy, da 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 da. And I was like, I stopped doing that because I, I knew I've been acting the yeah. with this guy for so long that I knew, like, that's just, like, yo, bro, go over talk. I still yeah. kind of do it, little <laughs> subtle, yeah. subtle, but I'll yeah. like, it's kind of just jokes at this you point. You a you a your yeah. age or call my boy as name. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. It's like that's different. It's sometimes you want to be like, you want to persuade your friend. Like mm-hmm. I know you. Yeah, like, exactly. Just bad. He'll tell me like, yo, she bad. Yeah, you know, just go over. Like, <laughs> bro, talk to her. Yeah, but I'm like, if you don't want to, you know, he yeah, you don't have to. And, and, that's call him out and that was the thing. And yeah. I told him I was like, to be honest with y'all, I know I could go over there and talk to them, but it's just like me right now. I'm calm and I'm okay with being alone. And being like, you know what I mean? I'm 20, at the time I was like 22 or 21. And I was like, I don't feel the need to impress anybody or to ask anybody out. So what's the, like, even just because I think she's cute doesn't mean that just because I think you're cute, I have to go over there and say something to you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. Like I can look at you from afar and be like, she's cute, but guess what? If I don't feel like I need to know you or your personality, it just doesn't spark or something like that. Right. If it's meant, we'll cross paths again. We don't even need to be here for that to happen. If something's just meant, it will happen inevitably. So yeah. it's kind of like, I don't even believe in that, like, going up and talking to a girl first, because, like, girls can do that to you, too. Because if it's supposed to happen, it'll happen. If I bump into you outside the club, that was a fake, like, moment. It was, like, I noticed you beforehand, but it's like, I wasn't supposed to speak to you until now. Right. So, you know, I mean, that's kind of, like, how I think and how I feel in that situation. But because he forced me and he was, like, calling me on my name, I was like, I'm going to prove them wrong right now. So I just I walked up, walked past him, you know. Hey, what's up? Put my hand on this thing like I was cool. I was the first time I ever acted so cool and it actually worked and I didn't <laughs> fail miserably. I was like, yeah, so my name is Charles. Da, 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 da. You know, I would like to get to know you and hang out with you. Where are you and your friends going this evening? I'm looking her up and down, looking at all her friends, giving everybody eye contact. Like, I was not me. Like, the shy. Man. That's how you pose. You know what I mean? You pose a step out. Yeah. Was, was, you it was crazy. And then the dude, Jay, who had went with me, he didn't, he was supposed to go and be wingman. He said nothing. That's he what happens The entire time. And I'm like, how are you going to cock block? Like, you know what I mean? The whole, and then here's the thing though. I didn't fulfill the mission. The reason why? It's because I just want to prove the point. And I proved that point. I went over there and spoke to them. They allowed me, like they, they accepted me to go to Domino's with them, to walk there with them. But then the one girl, the cute one, actually was very, uh, her attitude was stank. And it made her look ugly on the inside. Because there was a homeless man that was the on the car. You know like the, the, how the uh, homeless men kind of be wigging out. Like, their mind don't beat her. So they just be saying anything on South Side. Uh, so she was like, oh, he's a cross-eyed homeless mother's pizza. And I'm just oh, like, shit. she was making fun of how cross-eyed he was. I was like, yo, there's rant, like, regular people who are cross-eyed. Yeah. Like, so for you to just, like, say that, like, and you wearing fucking fake eyes... Like, you have no yeah, one to talk about nobody. Reality. Like, you know what I'm saying? You're wearing fake eyes. You have nobody. Like, you have no that, nothing to that talk That kind of made you, like, not like yeah. her. And, that, and as soon as, as we person. got back to Sahara, she went inside of her table, and I went inside of mine. And she looked so confused. Like, but why didn't he want to come over here and sit with me? It's because of how you treat people. I you mean, know? I and actually yeah. got a glimpse of how you are as a yeah. person. And mm. <laughs> And M. I'll let it out. And M. I'm so sorry. <laughs> and M. And Jay were talking to me like, why aren't you going over there and sitting with them? You you were in there. You had the mission locked. I was like, personality sucks. It's trash. Yeah. And then, and then I was like, I'm not about to and waste your my friends time. will look at you like, oh, because you yeah. had followed through. You, yeah. You're, it's a bad you fail. Strategy. You are a failure or something like, like that. Like, no, nah, it's something Something just didn't click right. Yeah. Or it was just like, it was, they, the feeling wasn't mutual. Yeah. And I just wasn't feeling it. And then you had to back off. Like, just yeah. how it is. It's okay to back off and move on. That's a prime That's example wrong yeah. of not everybody cares. Yeah. But it's it's a thing. You have morals. Yes. Very much so. And you, I mean, y'all don't know me, but y'all know me. And some of the stuff I say can sometimes be a little wild. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so for me to say, like, I didn't accept a girl because she did that is, is something. But I do have morals. You know what I mean? Right. So but, um, I'm definitely, like, you know, on that type of time like I definitely think that respecting people in general right. is something that you must do if you're trying to like even hook up with me yeah like if you don't have decent you know human being skills uh, to go back to the original topic though uh, as part of like we was talking about just now mm-hmm. is like being from Pittsburgh sometimes I don't feel like and you need to venture out and just figure out who you are that's what I did when I left Pittsburgh to go to 
Las Vegas for a while. And it yeah. helped me figure out figure a lot of things about myself and figure out how the, I'm, I'm, I learned a lot about myself. When I came back, I realized that um, Pittsburgh is, I miss my, I love my hometown. I love it, I love the death, but don't ever do anything that's you feel uncomfortable. Don't let nobody st- make you step out of your comfort zone because they get their, because they have their own agenda going on. Just do shit that you, you feel good doing yourself. If you ain't feeling something, you back off and move on. There's nothing wrong with that. Don't let nobody pressure you to do something that you don't want to do at all. Yeah. And also, leaving state, it just gives you that bump that there's more out there. Right. Like, it gives you that, like, that, that kick in the head. Like, yo, what have I been doing? Right. There's way more shit out here than just Pittsburgh. Just, there's way more females out here than just here. Exactly. <laughs> like, you stop putting women on a pedestal because you go out and meet new women. And you, women that you think is bad, we actually leave Pittsburgh or, like, anywhere you're from. You actually meet women who actually just love you just because you're not from where they're from. You, and it's, just, fuck all that, bro. They matter. <laughs> Like, I don't like, know about all that. That's like, debatable. That? We definitely got some beautiful women like, here. Yeah. We, we got beautiful women, but yeah. the women that think they're like the baddest here True. are not. You go somewhere else? No. They're better and their personalities are better. I will say this, though. I yeah, will they're say more this. A lot of the reason I give Pittsburgh the credit of having beautiful women as much as they do is not really because of the women are from here. It's because of all the colleges and the places that they come from. Right. Which makes them bad here. I think that's that's why some, here. that's why some of their personality but I think trash they is because they they pump themselves yeah. up to be something like they're like I don't know why some of women are snobby like they're too good to talk to you we just approach them approach them I mean, like okay. like their shit don't stink yeah. that's why it's, I, I, it's not all of them but most of them yeah I'll say this, them. look your self confidence if you feel that good about yourself sure. But just know, general population probably thinks that you got your head up your butt. Yeah. You might need to fix it. That's, that's <laughs> one of the biggest problems about Southside is because these girls go to the Southside every weekend and get hit on by hundreds of guys who go to on a, on a, a, um, religious, a lot. They go there every yeah. weekend and get they hit on the same girls and yeah. they just get their ego inflated. And they think, up. Yeah, it's like, like airheads. Yeah. <laughs> but I think they just don't be in the environment <laughs> where... Like yeah. in California or Vegas or yeah. Miami, where it's beautiful women everywhere. Now, mm. they, now they definitely get there. Let me say this: they definitely get there. They, <laughs> they get brought back. To, they get brought back down to earth. California, yeah. If y'all <laughs> all went to California for a day and a half and saw all the type of beautiful women that mess with you, the guys that you would call fives and fours. Oh my goodness, it would give you a reality check. You know what's crazy, definitely bro? Check, what's really check. wild for me, bro? It's so weird. What I've noticed is the more Eastern you go, the colder the women are. That's just natural that fact. That is true. The West, bro, I'm sorry. I, know I can go that. there, pull the girl of my dreams, and live happily ever after if I chose wait, to. Wait, the more Eastern? <clears throat> it gets worse. Like, they're more oh, cold. I feel like that. It's the West like is cold, so much like more cold. Yes. Yeah. The, the yeah. West side? Yeah. Like, the only thing that I can say about the West Side is sometimes, like, people can be a little fake. Like, not everything is what it seems. You know what I mean? It's a lot they of, try to like, tummy tucks out there. And, like, yeah. Like, you know, just, you know, look a certain way. And it's not really like that because, like, when you get up and close and personal to them, sometimes they look a little grimy. However, there are a lot of nice, very, very cute and beautiful and talented looking women that will be, like, and they don't even, they're not shy. Like, they come to you and be like, what's up? Like every girl, <laughs> Yo, and I'll just be sitting there like, yeah, like <laughs> shout out to New York. I never, I never really been there, but from what I can tell, I heard that woman up the there is very, very stuck up. They, they, they <laughs> he are said shout out to New York, but y'all still stuck yeah, up. I, they go so about it. They say, look, New York people are very stuck up. Even I know the women got it crazy, mm-hmm. but they, I know they're bad. I guess some, some many beautiful women, but I know they. They have like a lot of Puerto Ricans. Oh my um, they do girls. We don't have to. Well. They yeah, say we have some, but y'all, it's y'all, like in a scene. I don't know where y'all are. I don't know where y'all are. Oh, yeah, you ain't from here. <laughs> yeah, I don't know yeah, where I don't, y'all are. I, I don't see that. The, I don't see none of that over there. I see, What's I see them scattered. Like, it's, it's very rare that I meet yeah. one or something. And if I do meet one, they look white. Okay. Yeah, usually they're very light skinned. Like, I know a couple that are like that. But like, I went, super light, yeah. We, we went to uh, Miami and, um, 
they look white too. Yeah. So some, some I think was it you? There was like, yo, yeah. that that white girl right there, and I was like, yeah. nah, bro, she's she's I'm not bro, white. I know exactly, but, but, but she I looks know a white, perfect though. example to show you. Right. I know a perfect example. I'm about to show you if I can remember. Out. But I, if you get what we're saying, just don't come in. Just the, the say. Oh, how you, what do you say? <laughs> wait, <laughs> oh, wait. Okay. Yeah, oh, if you agree with what we saying, just write down in a comment. Tell us a story about how you feel like you don't, you're not from your city, or like how places you want to travel, or, or how whatever. how's the chicks in y'all cities? Like who, whoever listening to this, if you're from a different city, or if you're from this city, let us know what y'all think about women. Uh, yeah, from where y'all from? Mm. Who, who you about to show us? <laughs> I I honestly don't know her name on here. I don't think of another uh, topic. So I'm go, yeah, we definitely gotta make sure that people interact with the comments and stuff like that. Yes, yeah, sir. And, and like, oh, yeah, that's and make sure you like and like and subscribe. If we like what we're talking about, yeah, we, like we we're just starting now. We need some more supporters. Please help She's us Puerto keep Rican. going. And thank you so much. She yeah. she looked like she could be Puerto Rican. She is Puerto Rican. I just gotta find like a. Okay. Have y'all had sex during quarantine? No. <laughs> This <laughs> is We can't talk about that. <laughs> we know who did. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> that wasn't even a topic. 2019 was it? 2019, 2018 was a big year for all that. But well, that's a whole other topic. <laughs> another video. Oh, um, is is mayonnaise an instrument? Oh, what? <laughs> what? It's Patrick from SpongeBob. No. It's Patrick from SpongeBob. It can be He's though. Like, it's mayonnaise in this tree. He's like, no, we put his hand down. Oh no, shit! <laughs> like, if you <laughs> if you actually think about it, it can be an instrument, but it's like some provocative shit that I'm thinking about right now. I mean, <laughs> wow. oh wow, <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Is that? Here's a here's a question that I thought about um, earlier when we was talking like behind behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. um, what movies are due for a rewatch? Movies are due for a rewatch. Honestly, Fight Club. Yo, I've never seen Fight Club. Watch that shit. I can't even say I that. I feel like I saw that. Watch that shit. I'm gonna have to watch that. If you feel like unmotivated, watch that fucking movie. Okay. That movie would bring you fucking. Right. That shit was spark. Um, I need to watch that. I was watching uh, old Disney classic, one of my favorites. I fell asleep on it, so I gotta rewatch it again. You got Disney Plus? No, I wish. <laughs> the, Great, the Great Mouse Detective is one of my favorite movies of all time. I never there's so many that. like in windows though. Yeah, that's a good one too. <laughs> but there's so many innuendos in Disney movies that are for adults that you just never get. Like honestly, if you've ever seen the movie Pinocchio all the way through, he smokes a, like a cigar. Turns like blue in the face, like coughs up a lot. Like it just shows you so yeah, much. And like when crazy. I was watching The Great Mouse Detective, never in my mind did I put together that they went to a nightclub and watched a stripper perform on stage. And the dudes was just like hooting and hollering, and, like she was getting naked, naked. Oh, they was what? 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 <laughs> the Great Mouse Detective. Is that? Yeah. Was that PG? Was that one on Disney? It's an old cartoon. It's probably like a 70s or 80s cartoon. It's like, you know, it's yeah. like around the Aristocats and yeah. type of Them cartoons. old cartoons. Like a lady in the tramp old, you know what I mean? There was some, a lot of the subliminals about black people. In all really? old cartoons. Oh, facts and Dumbo. Oh. I didn't even know in Dumbo for the longest of times, like the crows were like, like black. black. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. how they talk. They, yeah. They're Southern. They're so Southern. Southern as hell. But like, I only thought that they were that because birds fly south. It was that's why I thought that that's why they were like. That. It was um a reference to Jim Crow. Yeah, I think that too. That whole thing. That's wild though, because they just it's so many oh, different yeah. boom boom boom. Honestly though, like, have you ever just thought about being in the amusement park after dark? I feel like Disney would be a very scary place to be after dark, even though it's so dope to be. No, I would be scared to talk about Mickey Mouse in the costume scared. walking. Not night. even that, bro. Just imagine the park <laughs> with no lights. Period. And you see all these big rides around you in these hotel rooms and the magic castle and like the that's those lights are there. But that's scary. But nobody there except for you though. Just imagine yo, just you though. Yo, Charles it. is the scariest big dude ever. I forgot to talk about this. Yo, no, yo hold, hold up, up, hold up. Before you do this, <laughs> the other day, the other day, the one dude, you remember um Monica Monica and D? Our friends Monica and D. Good good friends. Monica and D. 
that went with us. It was the guy, like the couple. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He was like, bro, I'm not going to lie. I got super mad at you for being the biggest dude there and being so scared. Bro. I was like, you got to understand, though, I've never <laughs> been to a haunted house ever in my life. That's, that's the closest that's thing amazing. I've ever been. How have you not been to a haunted First house? First off, been to I've, I've like never had or like a scary like, attraction. Well, see, this is the thing. I've never had friends take me anywhere like that. And then my family, like you my had mom and dad. And, and we'll always take you. Back in the day, you used to take everybody. He and never took me nowhere. And like I don't know, like that's the thing. And like he he liked to do stuff. He definitely well, he does. Did like well, he did stuff. at one point in time. <laughs> now now it's, it's different. But I mean, he still does. I think I think he's though. coming around. Yeah, now. a little bit more, a little bit more. Um, but if, yeah. M, if you know, we talking about you. Yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you're like you're, you're the homie. I'm like who, who else? I was just using M? I was using the story for reference, but you're the homie. You I know got some you're the girls named him. Yeah. So you're you're I mean, cool. guys, we, he said he said he. <laughs> and so I'm like pretty yeah. sure. But yeah, no. So it was just. It was <laughs> Wait, wild. hold up, bro. Let oh, me you tell say, you, oh, man. man. Come on, man. It wasn't we went, that bad, bro. It was so bad. It wasn't we that went bad. to. Uh, did I tell you about? Um, she was when we went paintballing, but it was with zombies. <laughs> Dog. Yeah. Oh, he was like grabbing my shoulders yo, through the gonna maze. Lie. I, like, oh, I held B Rod like for life. Hey, yo, I'm not gonna lie, I left him too though. I'm not even gonna lie. Why I was I behind? Him. Why was I in front of him, man? That's it. Yo, yeah. I know B Rod's getting frustrated. He so. probably was. No. I'm so sorry, bro. <laughs> <laughs> to this day, bro, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Like, I felt so bad. We never so talked bad. about that. I, we like, never did that. talk about that. <laughs> like, I was like, yo. yo. It was, it was. It was kind of scary. It I was not lie. Scary. But not your kind of scary. That, no, <laughs> I feel like it could have been way worse. And I was so thankful it was so mild. Right. I was yeah. so thankful. Because I'm not going to lie. Wait, so you only had to target the zombies? Like, they kind of target each other? Well, here's the thing. Well, before you go to the path, like, the path to the zombies, you have to pass these, hunt, like, a whole hunted course. So you have to run through the course. Like through like these uh, gates that are so close, like with brains and stuff on them, yeah. and there's like baby heads poking out, and there's like a, there was like a midget. The weirdest shit. That one midget guy that was, that was like he just out of nowhere. Was Sorry, a little person. But he oh, yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, like yo, he was like this tall. If you could see like from this camera, like he was like this tall. He was like that big, and he's like you know crawling on the gates like this Chucky thing. Like he's going under the tents and stuff like that. I'm like yo, I don't even know where that dude is. We didn't see him again. So like. To be continued, I don't know, but that was just <laughs> to wild. be continued. That was the, wild. The weirdest part was that like fence area where you had to like yeah. sh- squeeze, and I thought it was like on yeah. straight me. And I was shit. like, yo, I'm too fat for this. You <laughs> gotta be anorexic <laughs> to get through this path, for real, for real. Damn. It was wild. We was pushing on the gates and getting past. Yo, that's sound... it's right or left, right, right's always right. Like that's what we yeah. were saying. Right's always right. Like <laughs> a lot of that shit might be canceled this year. They don't I'm gonna say I don't any on that house I might be going on. Paintball, two weeks. I'm gonna say it was dope. For the first time. Shooting other people. So well, perfect for social distancing. All you do is yeah. I can invite people, whoever you want. Where's it at? Uh Steel Zone or Steel Oh, Steel I heard of that. Yeah, y'all wanna go? Twenty five bucks. That's all you paintball then. That's it. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> and and I have like my friend he just said like let me know that you know y'all wanna go and I said Okay, he said that it's starting at noon. I'm gonna stay until about three, and then I'm oh, done. coming through. Yeah, I'll send you the link or whatever. I'll tell him about it. So okay, hey, hey, this man might get trigger happy. I paintball is fun until you get hit in a finger. I got hit. Or I was just looking at my hit stats. in the hand, yo, that shit. Or, or I was just looking at my stats <laughs> today, and I got hit air softened here and here, and then I got hit here and here. Bro, yeah, they just said, fuck your middle finger. Yo, my middle finger, because it was right next to the tree. Because it's like the it's like the first part. And then you get hit like, bah, ah. yeah. <laughs> they shot my middle fingers up. They, I remember uh, I took M to this girl. I took my friend uh, Jess. I took my friend Q. I took my friend. Uh, well, I took Donnie, which is his brother. You know, I'm just gonna say something. What happened to Q? You still hanging with Q? No, yeah, he's cool. Um, he's just been inside because of the Q. Oh yeah, I feel it. Because of the Q. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But he's been inside. <laughs> But yeah, so it was like me and like don't he had like a people. don't he had like girlfriend, so he probably like yeah, 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 he's good. Everybody got a girl. That is how it happens when you yeah. when you get a girlfriend. Yeah, he's good. They kind of yeah. just do you their get own distant. Thing. Yeah, friends. that is that's true. fine. I it's kind of weird. A lot of people like don't understand it. 
Like a lot of dudes don't understand it. They be like, damn, bro, you've been missing. You, I mean, you ever get that? Like, yeah, but it's also like, because they be like, all you do is hang out with your friends. Not not them. Dude. Not them, but in general. Ladies, y'all yeah. know y'all be like, yeah. All Facts. you do is hang out with your friends. Yeah. Hang out. We're with Facts. you all the time. Yeah, literally, if I'm if if we're living together, which I've never had the situation, but I've had something similar where I'd see a girl literally about four to five times a week. If I see you about four or five times a week and I don't get one day with the boys whenever they ask, that's that's insane. That's that's the thing. That's Guys want like homebody girls. That but that comes with having a homebody girl because she wanted to be in the house all the time. I mean, she not. wanted to have company. That's kind of true. You don't yes, want a girl no. who's actually want to be out all the time with her friends too, and she be out. You be like, damn. Well, see, you, look, you going out well, with all the time. See, that's the thing. It's one night, and then two. If you're with the homies, you're super safe because all we do is this. We do this, play video games, that's go that's to movies. That's our group. That's uh, us. Women don't know that they they are with they, everything. Of course, they, do. they associate us with like other groups. They yeah. be out on. Chicks all the time. Like, who did he know before you met me? Like, how many we just be doing us, us like uh, having fun with the bros and shit. Yeah, like, literally, like, yo, I don't be focused. I'll on tell you on this too. What's crazy is, um, and then we'll go back to that scary story where I got humiliated. <laughs> <laughs> got humiliated. But I was gonna say, um, the old girl I used to talk to that y'all had saw that one time y'all came over my place. Yeah, oh, yeah. And everybody came over, <laughs> which is yeah, yeah, that was at my place. But yeah, um. Yeah, so damn, M's play, M, M's birthday, <laughs> whatever. But, yeah, that one Yo, place we go for M's birthday. Some dolphin noises. Oh, what was all the music? Send me dolphin noises. Send me dolphin. Dolphin. Uh, yeah, send me dolphin. Uh, yeah, send me dolphin. Yeah, and I can yeah. put it over. Do that. Swear. Facts. Um, yeah, I'm gonna watch that like eight <laughs> like, times. <laughs> I'm gonna just start saying his name on purpose, like. Just start saying people's names. No, no, that's too much. That's too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, just do it for every name I ever say. Just put, unless it's <laughs> us, like, put, put, put Dolphin. So when I say, like, <laughs> Jess or, like, just like Wait, whatever. Don't, don't want name No, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm just doing this for purposes. Like this is probably gonna be the the when most. We say Antoine. Yeah, uh, facts. <laughs> all of the dolphin noises are going over all of these names. So yeah, <laughs> don't even worry about. It. Please. That was the nice the first one. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. They're going over all these names. This part might be cut out. But I don't wait, know. what was you saying? <laughs> yeah. So what I was saying was, um, old girl that I was with for the party for them. Right when we were at my place, um, she was mad that she, I wasn't talking to her that much. At she the party? was, bro. She was sitting right next to me the entire time. It kind of, it kind of seemed like there was a little conflict, bro. I didn't know. 